Hey guys, this is Monkin' Out, bringing you part three of my 65 gallon saltwater aquarium build series. We're in my kitchen right now because I wanted to share with you the latest piece of equipment that I added to my system over this uh, past weekend. Now granted, it's not directly connected to the aquarium, but in the overall uh, scheme of things, it's still an important piece because I'll be using it to supply my tank and its inhabitants with a good, clean supply of water. Now if you guys have seen my previous videos, you know I've said I'm definitely new to the hobby, but I'm also trying very hard to educate myself in order to uh, increase my chances of success with my own system the first time around. And it's through this education process, we'll say, that I've been consistently coming across this common theme or topic that is very important to be a success uh, in the marine aquarium hobby. And that is you need to have a good quality water supply readily available to you to be successful. And it's for this reason I wanted to make a quick video to share with you the process that I followed to determine how I would supply this need for my own system. Now first off, um, I needed to determine what water supply options I had available to me in my area. Now I live in the city and my home water supply is pretty decent so one option I um, naturally had was to use tap water and somehow treat it with chemicals to make it more suitable for the for the aquarium so that was one option second option was to purchase already filtered water from my local fish store they have a uh, RO system on site and they sell water by the gallon so that was a decent second option and the final option I considered was to uh, purchase an at-home uh, filtration system and just filter the water here at home and that's ended you know what I ended up choosing so the question you know you need to ask is well why did I choose this well let's first look at why I didn't choose going the tap water route now I'm no scientist I'm no chemist by any means but you know quote unquote filtering the water with chemicals just didn't make sense to me now sure I can see you you could add you know chemicals to the water uh, and those chemicals could neutralize the chlorine and iodine in the tap water but I don't see how those same chemicals could actually uh, filter out the other minerals or dissolved solids or contaminants that are in that water and I didn't want to take a chance of adding that into my tank and having some sort of uh, nuisance algae outbreak or even potentially affecting the health of my uh, tank inhabitants so I just didn't want to uh, go that route and use tap water at all. I didn't want to take the chance, so I basically eliminated it from my list right off the bat. So that's really that really left me with only two options: buying the water from the local fish store or buying a filter system. And at first, I was really um, leaning on just purchasing the water from the local fish store because of the cost to buy the at-home system. Uh, what I ended up getting here, and I'll show you in a little bit more detail all all the pieces ended up costing me in total um, about 220 bucks and then I had a couple add-ons bringing the cost to about two hundred and fifty dollars so you know I was you know really reluctant to purchase this at-home system but and I can't stress this enough guys before I made that final decision I took a step back I weighed out my options I did a few calculations and I ended up being really surprised by the results okay so in my case First, I needed to figure out what my initial uh, water needs were going to be. I'm setting up my system brand new, so I need to fill the display and the sump. I estimate about I estimated about 75 gallons would do the job for the initial setup, so I needed to get that water. Then I needed to calculate what are my monthly expenses for water going to be thereafter. I estimated I would need around 20 gallons a month, 20 to 25 gallons dedicated for water changes and then an, around another five gallons to use for top offs throughout the month. Now when I added everything up I figured out that the system, the $250 system that I wanted to get would actually pay for itself in nine months time versus buying all of that water. Now I also want to let you guys know I calculated this without even taking into consideration the cost uh, of fuel that I would have to use in order to drive out to the local fish store and then uh, transport that water back. So, um, you know, if I try to add in those fuel costs, maybe I could shave off, 
even another month or two off of that uh, purchase break even point. Now at this point you guys might be thinking, well, the only reason he can break even so quick is because you know he needed to buy so much water to initially start the system. If I had already uh, had an established system, I, it would take me a lot longer to break even. And my answer to that is I'd have to agree 100%. That is true. However, the main point I'm really trying to make here is you guys need to take your time and do your research so you can really see what options you have available to you uh, when choosing not only your system's water source or water solution, but for anything your system may require. Uh, and in my case, you know, the results might just surprise you. Now, when it came down to actually choosing the system I wanted, I liked the idea of both uh, having a system that would suit my family and my tank, you know, a win-win type situation. So I chose a five-stage drinking and reef water system from Bulk Reef Supply. Now the system itself is made up of uh, a sediment filter, which is right here, two carbon filter blocks arranged um, in order of uh, a five micron, and then it goes down a little bit smaller to a 0.6 uh, micron filter. And then that water uh, will then pass through the RO membrane, which is right here. And in the case of the drinking water side of things, it goes through this fifth uh, chlorine taste and odor reducer just to polish that water. And then the water actually, and let me grab the camera here, passes into this storage tank, which I have right here. Now in my case, I couldn't fit everything underneath my kitchen sink, but I had this uh, void of space between my cabinets. So I just cut a square opening here and I took that piece of wood and bought a couple hinges at my local fish store. I don't know if you guys can see them there. And I just put it back on so it would act like a door. That way um, I didn't have to worry about anything falling in there by accident. You know, we do store some other stuff under here. Okay. And then when it comes to the aquarium side of things, what you do is you flip this switch. Let me show you that on this valve. And what that does is it takes the water out of the uh, RO membrane coming out of there, and then it passes it through this deionization filter canister, and you utilize the water coming out of there for your aquarium. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and as far as the installation of this system goes, let me tell you, it was really easy thanks to a great video that Bulk Reef Supply uh, made, and it, that video outlines every step of the installation. The system comes with everything you're going to need to install it, um, and they even give you some extra stuff so you have some uh, additional options or more flexibility depending on your situation, and their customer support is really great. So if you're thinking about buying an RO system, I highly recommend you guys check them out. Now, if you say, you know what, I'm going to do it, I'm going to pick one up, I also want you guys to consider picking up a couple extras that are not included, but it's gonna really help you uh, maintain your RO system here. Now the first one is this pressure gauge. Let me give you a quick shot of that. Now this pressure gauge sells for about $15 on their website. And the reason I say you need to get one of these is because it's a simple gauge uh, to read and install and it's gonna provide you with some pretty valuable information. Uh, number one, when you first set up your system, it's going to help you determine what your starting water pressure is going into this RO membrane. And uh, that's important because if the pressure isn't strong enough, it's not going to work properly. So, for example, if your initial pressure was below 40, you know, that's an indication you need more pressure. And you could buy, uh, for example, uh, a booster pump and bulk reef supply carries those. Another use of the gauge is it'll help you tell if your pre-filters need changing. If you notice a consistent pressure drop over time, that's an indication that you're not getting enough water pressure here because this is restricting it. So there you go, a quick indication that it might be uh, time to change your filters. Now the second piece of equipment that I recommend you guys get is this dual uh, TDS meter. Now what that's gonna do is that, and that sells about, for I think it sells around $30 online and this tool will let you know how your RO system's working along with the DI stage as well. And once you install it, you'll be able to monitor the total dissolved solids reading so you'll know when it's time to change your RO membrane or your DI resin. So in my case, my RO is running around 10 to 12 parts per million, which is good. 
uh, compared to my tap water, which is probably at about 300. And so it's catching about 97% of the contaminants. Your DI should always read zero, so if you notice these numbers going up, that eh, might be time to change the uh, filter media. So definitely if you guys are willing to invest a little bit into an RO system, I recommend you guys uh, get these two helpful items, uh, add them to your order. Trust me, they'll pay for themselves in dividends. And with that, I'd like to close by first thanking all my subscribers out there. Uh, I believe I'm up to 20 right now, so thank all you guys very much. Also, uh, if you guys get a chance, I want you to check out Money Mark uh, Jay's YouTube channel. He's doing some great stuff right now with his tank as of late, and he's posting a ton of update videos all the time sharing his experiences. So thanks again for watching. Uh, please feel free uh, to subscribe, post your comments, let me know what you think. And so with that, this is Monkin' Out, signing out.